Today we're going to be talking about how often you should actually be posting on Instagram. What is the correct answer? Because I get this question so often from clients on, you know, how many times should I be posting? What is the correct number if I'm wanting to grow, if I'm wanting to see results? How much should I actually be posting? And I'm going to answer that question for you today and give you the advice that I would give you if you were one of my one-to-one clients. Because as I said, I get asked this question quite a lot from my clients. And I always give the same answer every single time because I think it's actually really, really simple and we overcomplicate it so much. And especially, you know, when we're trying to grow on Instagram, when we're trying to get better results from Instagram, that can be one of the first things we ask ourselves is how often should we be posting? Should we be posting more? Should we be posting less? Is there a secret formula? Is there a correct answer? I believe that there is a correct answer, but it's probably a lot simpler than you're actually thinking it is. And as I said, I give the exact same advice to all of my clients here. And I think this is a big reason why they get the sustainable results they do because of the answer to that I would give to this question specifically. So what I would say here is blanket advice does not work. I think a lot of people will, you know, hear just this blanket advice of post five times a week, post every single day, post once a week, etc. And that does not work at all. I think that's always really bad advice because it just really keeps you stuck. And sure, I can tell you to post once a week. I can tell you to post five times a week. But the question is, can you actually stick to that? Is that something you can actually maintain? Because if you can't, it's kind of useless. There's no point in just posting, you know, for a few weeks straight, posting five times a week and then falling off completely, ghosting your audience essentially, and then wonder why you're not growing from there. So here is what I always tell my clients here. You should be posting as much as you can realistically keep up with. So whatever you can maintain sustainably, there were points in my business where that looked like I posted three times a week on Instagram. There is now a point where I post five times a week on Instagram. It's just depended on the specific season for me. And the really great thing is, as long as you are consistent with this, as long as you are keeping this up, it really doesn't matter how many times you're posting. It doesn't matter whether it's three times, four times, five times, etc. Um, and yes, that you know, daily posting can be a really great thing, but if you can't keep up with it, there's no point in it whatsoever. And you know, for some people, daily posting will be a thing you can do. That's great, amazing. For others, that will look like two times a week because you're focusing on other areas, etc. That's also great. It's completely fine because at the end of the day, the clients are going to be coming across your profiles. They're going to be coming to your page, seeing all of your posts still, seeing your content, and it's still going to work in the same way as long as you are being consistent with it and you're consistently showing up. That is the important part. And I think the real benefit to posting a lot is the consistency. The only reason why we ever, you know, anyone has ever suggested posting daily in the first place is because of that consistency, because if you're posting daily, it means people are seeing your content a lot. They're seeing it over and over and over again. So they're much more likely to buy. The same is true though, if you're posting three times a week, but we're doing that consistently for 52 weeks in a row, for a whole year in a row, it's still getting the same outcome at the end of the day. Yes, it's less quantity, but it's still getting the same outcome of people are seeing you consistently and you're really building that consistency there. So as I said, if we are really going to know that we're gonna not be able to keep up with this, if we know that we're gonna be able to, um, you know, not be able to maintain this, there is no point in us posting more. So always make sure it's a level you can actually keep up with And as well, what I would always say and what I always advise to clients is always stay a week ahead. So if we think, you know, okay, I have so much time this week, should I just post five times this week because I have extra time? If you're a week ahead, absolutely, yeah, put some extra posts out. But if you're not a week ahead, focus on just building up that buffer for you. And this is what's helped me so much with staying consistent there. Because even if I'm sick, if I miss some days, it does not affect my consistency. If I, you know, don't film YouTube videos for a week, that's totally fine because I'm always at least a week ahead there. So I always have that buffer built in of just in case. And that has meant that I've been able to post daily for literally six months now in my business, posting five times a week, every single weekday to Instagram and posting sometimes a week daily to YouTube as well, alongside all of the other places that I show up as well, all the client work, etc. because of this. So post as much as you feel like you can actually sustainably keep up with. And then secondly, the one of the most important things, build that buffer for yourself so you can always stay that a little bit ahead so you're never going to fall off. It's really easy for you to stay consistent. That is the hack to actually staying consistent with your content. And that is how often I truly believe you should be posting on Instagram to actually get results, to actually get you success from your Instagram. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, make sure you drop it a like, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more videos and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.